in this video i will explain the auto cycle which is commonly used for spark ignition reciprocating engines in this figure you can see the pv diagram for auto cycle there are four strokes in a auto cycle uh, the first stroke is called compression stroke in the compression stroke air fuel mixture is compressed due to the movement upward movement of piston and it continues until the piston is moving on the upside as the volume is decreased so the air fuel mixture is compressed to a high pressure when the piston reaches its top dead center as you can see in the second figure a spark is provided by a spark plug you can see here uh, a spark plug is installed here and it, it ignites the fuel uh, which produces heat and this stroke is called power stroke when the fuel is ignited a large amount of pressure is produced which pushes the piston downward with some acceleration and the third stroke in which uh, the piston is is, is moved to uh, at the its bottom dead center this is the bottom of uh, the bottom of the piston and when it start moving up its volume is decreased and at the at this moment the exhaust this is the exhaust valve which is uh, opened and the gases which burnt gases uh, are flown out of the engine and when the piston moves it's to its top dead center all the flue gases exhausted from the engine and after this stroke there is an inst intake stroke and intakes in the intake stroke uh, inlet valve this is inlet valve which opens and fresh air is fresh air fuel mixture is uh, induced inside the engine which is uh, done by negative pressure and it is done when the piston is moving down so all these processes are shown in this pv diagram uh, it starts from here which is compression stroke in the compression stroke volume is decreasing as you can see the piston is moving up so volume is decreasing and pressure is increasing so this line up to here is the compression stroke after that when the volume is minimum at the top dead center you can see here the volume is minimum the piston is reaching its top dead center the fuel is ignited you can see this point which is called ignition and when the piston reaches its top dead center the all the fuel is burned and this is the stage we call end of combustion after this point piston starts to move down and its volume starts to increase and pressure starts to decrease and when it uh, you can see here it is at the top at this point it is at the top and when it moves down pressure is reduced and volume is increased and it uh, at the end of this power stroke uh, piston reaches its bottom dead center but before reaching its bottom dead center exhaust valve is open so at this point uh, when it reaches its bottom dead center its exhaust valve is open and then it moves upward and it rejects all the gases uh, it rejects all the gases uh, and flue gases which are burned gases 
out of the engine so this process from this point to this point it is exhaust stroke after uh, reaching its top dead center it it's now it's turn to move down back and at this point intake valve is open and fresh air fuel mixture is inducted inside the engine so this line is the intake intake stroke so uh, there are four processes which are occurring in an auto cycle number one is ice isentropic compression the first stroke in which the air fuel mixture is compressed is called isentropic compression so from one to two it is isentropic compression in which the gas uh, flu uh, intake fresh air fuel mixture is compressed in the second uh, process which is heat addition q in and uh, q in represents the amount of heat added so heat is added by burning the fuel so you can see here at this uh, process fuel is ignited when the fuel is ignited large amount of heat is produced so second process is constant volume heat addition you can see uh, from the start of ignition to the end of ignition the volume is constant volume is not increasing but the pressure is increasing this uh, but uh, this horizontal line shows us the volume and if this is the almost vertical line so we can see it is constant volume heat addition <coughs> Sorry. the third process is third process this is isentropic expansion which is also uh, shown in this figure you can see here from 3 to 4 it is isentropic expansion so in the isentropic exp expansion uh, exhaust gases are removed from the engine the fourth process is constant volume heat rejection heat rejection means that you are uh, hot you are uh, exhausting hot gases inside the engine to the atmosphere in this way heat is rejected from the engine so uh, this is it and uh, this auto cycle is commonly used in our uh, um, daily uh, vehicles that we use in motorbikes in cars so uh, you have uh, you have uh, uh, used in your cars and you must uh, heard about the four stroke engines so mo in the motorbikes you uh, we are using auto cycle as uh, operating cycle of these engines <coughs>